Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below. Also, feel free to sign up and join my channel. Become a loyalty member. $2.99 per month. You get cool emojis and shout outs. And a super sweet badge. All right, Virgo. So we're going to get into the, your reading and see what's going on. Anything else showing up here for February for you. So you're starting off with engagement ring. Let me just show you these. Because like, you know, I'll try to show them all to you at one time. If I can. Okay, you have engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. You have coffee cup. You know what? If you want to listen, I sure love a cup of coffee. So, hey, feel free to donate a cup of coffee to me. Link is in the description box. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. And, oh, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Hmm. Okay. Starts off good, and then there's like, oh. Let's take a look. What's going on with engagement ring? Okay, you've got the lover. So this is a good start. Okay, this is a good start. Engagement ring and the lovers. So somebody's getting or talking or engaging. There's an engagement happening here in the month of the lovers month of February. Okay, there's partnership. There's a commitment. So let's see. Now that is a Gemini card. We do have Cancer. Wow. Okay. Virgo. Uh, looks like something's moving forward. Looks like someone is going to go out on a limb here and offer some kind of commitment or talk about a committed relationship. We also have Aquarius here and the Three of Pentacles. It's like, let's uh, learning something, figuring something out, talking, discussing, um, learning about you you might be connecting with someone in february who is seeking a long-term relationship okay um i feel like for some of you if you are in a relationship or you have some some type of relationship at this time this feels like Somebody's going to take some kind of, make like a bold move, take some kind of risk here to offer or to come in and I, I don't know if you're, you might actually be getting engaged. Hmm. Okay. But there's a relationship. There's a commitment of some sort happening here. Now, some of you, uh, there, there might be some connection to a school or like a university or college or a school or, um, yeah, let me see here. It could be a work thing as well. Someone at your work or, yeah, let me take a look here. Some of you are finding out that um, if you have, a ch uh, if you have, you know, adult children, one of them might be telling you that they're getting engaged in February or telling you, you know, something along those lines. Okay, let me see here. Just show me the Three of Pentacles. What's going on here? Okay, someone who's fought back. I feel like there was someone who... Oh, they're just saying... This, somebody here who's reaching out or, or offering this engagement or commitment of some sort. It feels to me like there might be other people who are saying, No, don't do it. <laughs> And they're determined. I feel like this person is determined. There's a beautiful love connection here with the lovers. I just heard, this is so strange. Okay, just flash. So like you guys, when I get messages, I call them messages, but they really are as impressions that I really can't explain. It's not like I see text across a background or, or I, I sometimes hear words it's more along the lines of like an impression and an impression that i just received was they said it, it was turn your twin flame into your soulmate hmm i don't know exactly what that means it just was 
make your twin flame your soulmate okay look at this you've got the knight of cups so yeah there's definitely a romantic proposal or love offer coming in okay and um there might have been this 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 person whether you know them or not there is an energy of perhaps in the past pushed back on some type of long-term commitment or marriage like it could have been someone said oh i you know i never wanted to be married or it wasn't just in the cards for me or i just you know they could have had like maybe some bad experiences in the past and made a decision that wasn't for them it looks like something's shifting or changing so for some of you you could be meeting someone while you're traveling i'm hearing because there's a double travel oh there's a triple travel energy there okay so if you have any plans you're going anywhere over in the month of February, I know maybe a cruise or you're attending something that's at a distance. There is this connection I see perhaps you making. And let me see. What else can you tell Virgo? There's Virgo right there. Whew. Okay. So they're just saying that this person... Holding back from suppressing, they're saying, suppressing their lustful intentions. Because they're there, it exists. There are lustful intentions, I see. But holding those back, suppressing them, keeping them at bay. Because it feels like somebody wants something more or something um, more... I don't want to use the word serious, but something more progressive, right? So the, I feel like this person comes towards you not revealing and not really showing um, as the first sign that there's a physical thing or that there's like this passion towards you. They'll hold that back, uh, maybe out of respect or just, you know, out of a sense of maturity is what I'm hearing. And it's not that it's a bad thing. I just feel like it's this person, whoever they are to you, if you haven't met them, you might, um, that there's this genuine interest in wanting to have some type of a long-term, you know, deep love partnership. And that while the physical attraction and the passion will be there, I feel like this person does not want that to be the first thing that they show and to hold that back for it to come later, okay? Um, so I, I kind of like that energy because it gives a sense of feeling like there's a foundation that can be built here. Okay, so now you have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Seven of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Hmm. So there might be a water sign that you have a connection to. Um, that, okay. Yeah, so they're saying, the impression I'm getting is this person is very curious about you. So this could be a water sign coming in for some of you, where this person is very curious about you, um, interested, watching i'm hearing watching you a lot of communication questions wanting to ask questions if you are okay i'm just hearing if you um would say yes they're curious if if they make a proposal or offer masculine or feminine here if you would say yes wondering if you would If you would be open to this, it's, it's very, very specific. If you would be open to a love offer proposal that they make to you. Because I feel like there's a falling in love energy. Oh, okay. There's your sign. <laughs> so there's a falling in love energy with a, a romantic falling in love energy. This is not a friendship thing. This is not... Uh, 
like anything platonic at all. Okay, could be another Virgo. Okay, so I, yeah, you know, when is this going to happen? The month of February. Oh, February 5th. That's already gone by. Wait, has it? Yeah, February 5th was on Monday. So uh, I feel like this person has, uh, this has been something on their mind at that time. You might have, if you already know this person, you might have already had a conversation with them about this for some of you. But I feel like sometime around the 5th, which was Monday, and today, as I'm recording this, is the 7th. So a few days ago, a couple days ago, a few days ago, I feel like this person has had it on their mind about making some kind of offer, if you already have a connection with them, making some kind of offer. Now, understand they don't have to be a water sign. They could have water in their chart somewhere. So let's not get too specific with this. There's also this curiosity about um, what you're not revealing, and they want to find out. Yes, get to the truth and the heart of the matter. Someone could be 51 years of age. Oh, wow. Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. I mean, that's incredible. I feel like this person is tremendously interested in exploring talking to you they're going to initiate some something with you this person's intention is to have this crown victory with you plant these seeds explore have growth expansion i mean hmm virgo will you accept some type of um romantic proposal from someone let's find out virgo now, for some of you, with these two aces, this is somebody new, okay, who's coming in. That you, you know, you could start dating. You might not even have met them yet. And you start talking to them, say, next week. And then by the end of the week, they're, or the end of the month, this person is, is like, whoa, I want to know more. I want to know more. <laughs> Wow, Ten of Cups. So yeah, Virgo, this feels to me like um, there's like a happily ever after energy playing out here. And you have a coffee cup, so you could be connecting with someone over coffee this month. Okay, um, this could be a friend who has suddenly developed romantic feelings for you. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment. Wow, Virgo. Um, let me see here. This, you know, I have to tell you, this feels, I feel a strong sense of newness to this. Like a strong sense of you meeting somebody new in February. And it's beautiful. Now for others, it's someone that you already have a connection with. There, This person might really love coffee. <laughs> Look at this page of cups. So yeah, there's very loving. This is like a little sugar in the coffee here. This is what I'm feeling. There's a very strong um, sense of sweetness and sincerity. For some of you, there's an apology after a breakup of some sort. And I'm hearing someone saying to you, Virgo, hey, can we meet over coffee? Can we can we sit and have a talk? Um. Someone coming in, this person making a romantic proposal to you, okay? So if this is someone that you've been broken up with or that you've had some kind of a heartbreak situation, they may have reached out to you on February 5th asking to meet. You might not be sure about that. Let's see, what else is going on here? I feel like, yeah, there's an apology about someone being distant or leaving and i feel like this person wants to tell you why they walked away from a relationship with you why something ended why they left the marriage the relationship yep four of wands 
somebody must have walked away. This person that looks like walked away from a mar from a relationship or a family. They want to sit and talk with you, Virgo. Have this conversation where they've been. Apologize to you about this. They want to get back together with you, okay? Now, for those of you where this is somebody new, I do feel like there will be a connecting with someone and them telling you, you know, they left their partner, they left their ex, something ended or there was a breakup and then they tried to go back to try to make it work and it didn't work and now they're ready for new love, okay? So you might get that conversation if you meet this person. Maybe you meet them, you know, you connect with them online and then you guys set up a date and you talk but you know for the singles that's what i feel like is going on and for those of you that had some kind of breakup of some sort i do feel like this person is going to come in and apologize and, and try to explain to you what happened and make this romantic proposal this offer okay somebody might have left for for um a queen of sorts a masculine or feminine air sign and that didn't work out and they're coming back um, or they'll tell you that the person that they tried to fix the relationship with uh, didn't work out. That person was just really cutting that Queen of Swords energy there. Harsh, kind of some harsh energy. And for others, like I said, this could be an air sign that you're connecting with as well. Uh, coming in to tell you, like, everything they tell you is the truth, is how I feel. Everything they're saying to you is the truth. I see a lot of effort. This person putting in a lot of effort with you. Yeah, look, you have three aces. So, I mean, this is like... A beautiful new beginning that's happening here now this could be a restart for some of you or this is just a brand new start if you've had a heartbreak or you've been you know something ended Virgo and that relationship is just done or someone left and went and got married and you know or, or whatever they committed to somebody else and that's over you can rest assured that there is somebody new coming in for some of you who are just completely single um, and not going back to the past but for those of you that are wanting someone from the past to come back and you guys to work things out I do see that happening okay and, and to the point where somebody shows up ready to embrace and put in the effort and work to make something work here like to the fullest extent you know I always like to say you know when people come together and it's a beautiful thing it's 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 like a gift but it's a it's a gift box that's empty we're not given these this gift box with all these wonderful little blessings in it that we just take out and use no we have to put the blessings into that gift box we have to both contribute do you know what i mean so i kind of feel like that's the energy like there's a some type of a gift coming here for you this opportunity and I do feel like you will have this sense of over, like a feeling of feeling blessed. Yeah. I feel so dry in my communication today and I don't know why. It's almost like a hesitation where, I don't know if I'm picking up your energy or somebody's energy where it's like, is this for real? Like, can this be real? It's almost like it feels forbidden to even say it because there's a there maybe you there's a fear of getting your hopes up and being let down that could be uh, someone's energy that i'm picking up on um and even though this is a general reading I, i'm picking somebody up here for sure that is just kind of like yeah it's weird it's a very strange vibe energy that I'm feeling. Let me take a look at you though, Virgo. I want to see you because I feel like you may have had some kind of a heartbreak. Perhaps by an emperor or an Aries. Some type of a relationship that was a struggle and a burden. Oh, heavily. 
You could be recovering from um, a broken heart from someone. Um, someone with the emperor energy is this person seems very commanding and, and very mature. Okay. Um, something came to an end. A difficult relationship in your past. You may still be grieving over a relationship here in your past, no matter what their energy was. Look at that. Wow, that's the wounded warrior. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this whole new beginning thing that's happening here is, is a breath of fresh air for you, especially in February. I mean, I don't, I, like, listen, let me, it's not very black and white, right? So I don't feel like somebody's, you're just going to meet someone and then within a day they're going to propose. <laughs> I mean, it could happen, but that's not what this is. This feels like, the, it's more like the energy that's swirling around. Okay. Now, for those of you who do have um, a rekindling situation, I do feel like uh, that's what it's going to lead to. Okay. Um, this whole, it just feels like a happily ever after thing. Um, if you so choose it, and let me just ask Virgo, where are you with accepting love or an, uh, not accepting love, but getting yourself into a committed relationship. Where are you with that, Virgo? Oh, wow. Okay, so now you have four aces in this reading. Um, Virgo, I kind of feel like your energy is, you know, if the opportunity comes and it's solid and it feels right and it feels like a true gift, then yes, you will take it. That's kind of, I feel like that's your, your energy. But it has to be real. It can't be a shady lies and deception or any of that. And I feel like you have the ability to discern that, you know. Look at how the moon and this pentacle are roughly the same size. So uh, that's what I'm saying. It has to be like the pentacle is solid. You know what I mean? Like you can, it's tangible. It's a real thing. And the moon here is, yeah, it's real and tangible, but it fades in and out. It's, it's very it can be very shady like sometimes it disappears with the new moon do you know what i mean so like it can't you know it has to be solid so and you have the ability to discern between you know the the two difference here okay and trust your intuition so i do feel like you are open to maybe having that cup of coffee and talking with someone i do to see where something goes but yeah, you're, you're definitely open. That's what I'm saying. However, just look at this. Look at this baby. His arms are out like, yes, I'm open. I'm seeking success, positivity, warmth. And look at how we have these three, <laughs> three yellow balls here. Interesting, because they're all the same size, pretty much. That's interesting. I never noticed that before. So Pisces energy, Leo energy. So, I feel like you're open to it. You're not open to that, though. And with the devil here. All right? If somebody's coming back around to make an offer, you're. I see you kind of looking to see the, the devil in the details. Like, I do. I feel like you're... I do feel like you're highly intuitive at this time. You can snuff it out, you know? So you're, what does that mean? You're a bit cautious. I feel like you're a bit cautious with anybody who's making a return. If, if somebody's making a return and saying something, I don't feel there's anything um, like with a past person. I don't feel like there's a past. And, and I know yesterday's reading, this is not the same. Okay. So a past person, I don't feel like there's anything shady about a past person. Um, And if there is, you're, you have like this super strong, I don't know, x-ray glasses on. Like you can, you can spot it. You can sense it. You're looking for it. And perhaps that's because you have been through something here. So I, overall, I see that you're, you're open. You're open to kindness, sincerity, someone who's being authentic with you. Um, and if, if they're offering some kind of opportunity, you, you're not going to, you, you don't have your kid gloves on you. I don't see you being skittish. 
as far as like this whole engagement thing, I mean, hmm. Your energy is kind of like, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I don't know. You're treading lightly is what I feel. Treading lightly, but you're open. Okay. So Capricorn is there. Yeah. So there's you. King of Pentacles. Masculine or feminine. Oh. And the King of Swords. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That could be you as well. Being clear-minded. Having clarity of mind, but being real. Yeah, I don't... See, you're not emotional here. Okay? Now, you could have two, two different... Yep, that's just what I was... Just what I was saying. The card confirms it. Two choices here. Okay. So, you know what? This could very well be someone from your past who's trying to recover this relationship with you. And then you've got someone new you could be meeting who's very, like who's a genuine article that's truly interested in, in seeing where something goes, especially in February, okay? Hmm. And normally, you know, <laughs> When I have two court cards side by side like that, even with the two of wands, I feel like there's a crossroad here. I feel like there's there's a path, a decision that you need to make or you will be confronted with. <laughs> You've got strength, Leo energy. And you have the star. Wow. <laughs> Virgo's like... <laughs> I'm just staying single. Like, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, wow, Virgo. This is ending up to be two different scenarios. Yeah. So you could have a choice between two different people. Like I said, one from the past who wants to recover this relationship and go the full distance with you. And then possibly somebody new you could be meeting who doesn't need to recover the past like I said they could be telling you about their past but doesn't need to recover the past they don't have a past with you they tell you about their past and where they're at now and what they're looking for so wow Virgo looks to me like you're I don't know that you're going to I don't I think I feel like the decision will be at your door but I don't know if you're going to... You might open the door and look at the decisions. <laughs> Two different packages coming in. Which one? Should I take them both or should I just choose one? I don't see you making an actual decision at this time in February. You know what I mean? Maybe you will in March, but I feel like your energy is more along the lines like, Hey, doesn't it Doesn't it figure? <laughs> That's. It's just this oh, when it rains, of course. This is what I feel like is happening here. Yep, look at that, the Hierophant. Wow, that's a dilemma. Uh, that's a little bit of a dilemma. Not for, not for all of you, because you know you might just at some point, maybe later in March, decide that you're gonna try to work something out with someone from the past, or you might decide not to and go with someone new, you know? But your ultimate thing here is, you know, for you, Virgo, it, there's no casualness regarding your decision. You, I feel like you look at your situation like, okay, uh, you're either single as a Pringle or you are in a committed relationship. There's no in-between for you, okay? You're not trying to do a situationship. You're not trying to have a casual or a friends with benefit. You're not interested in that, you know, because you're good. If you're on your own you're you're happy and you're happy to date you know um i feel like dating you know going for coffee going on um like a day trip or spending some time hiking with someone or you know doing casual fun things but nothing more than that you're okay with that you know and but for you, if nothing more comes of that, then you're just like, a, you're, all, you're good on your own. 
and then if it does it has to be more of a committed exclusive like we you know you're, you're very much i see you being in this energy of like following tradition um not not and, not and that might even be your advice for some of you to refrain from casual like i'm talking casual dating is just you know going out and having dinner and going to shows and simple things i'm talking about refraining from friends with benefits kind of scenario and i'm not accusing you of doing that and i know a lot of you don't but if there's someone here that is conflicted about something the advice I'm getting for you is, you know, black or white, you're either single or you're in a committed relationship, nothing else. You know what I mean? I feel like your advice, if you're that person that may be in a situation with someone where it's just, you're not getting what you want, then, or what, you, what you're, well, you're not getting your needs met in the way you want them to be met, then refrain from engaging with that because you're, wait, you're spinning your wheels, right? You're wasting your time. So yeah, I feel like your energy is really good as far as being true to yourself, okay? So if someone's coming in from your past that is looking to recover the relationship and really go the full distance with you, I feel like it might be okay prove it <laughs> with you you know show up if that's something that you really want and they will they'll show up with it okay what does that mean like engagement ring or something tangible like something solid yeah solid offer um but there is somebody else here showing up that you might be connect get new connecting with where they're interested in the same thing so you might have a dilemma and it might just be for you virgo you're not going to decide it'll get decided for you may the best person win <laughs> so i don't know if they're competing for you you might you know but you might just kind of take a step back and observe and see like who's really showing up here and it looks like both are showing up <coughs> well i wouldn't want to be in your shoes i can tell you that i can tell you that let's see what your messages of love are also taurus showing up there Okay, trust. It's safe to trust in this situation. Which that feels mostly to me like it's safe to trust yourself. And you also... Okay, strictly sexual. The connection is passionate but not enduring. So when I, when I was saying like you might be... Not all of you. I'm not pinpointing... Like for those of you who are not doing this, don't get your panties in a twist. I'm trying to say for those of you that do have a connection with someone that you know that the relationship isn't going to be anything more that but just a strictly sexual relationship if you're aware of that that's good if you're expecting more from that you will just disappoint yourself so you need to be able to discern okay i do feel like Passion is a good thing, but like I said in the beginning, somebody's showing up here where they're refraining from showing that lusty energy, okay? <clears throat> and you might feel like, oh, I guess I'm not attractive. Maybe I'm not attractive to this person. You know, they're not making any moves or they're not hitting on you. Um, no, I don't feel like that's the case at all. I feel like they are trying to be respectful and see into your soul versus seeing it you know under your shirt or into your <laughs> into your pants <laughs> but if you have a relationship that you come to terms with that is like no it's a friends with benefits and you decide you might decide that you just want to put an end to that so you can have something more um quality a qual a quality relationship okay yeah you might be on different pages with someone that's kind of like a like a very a physically casual relationship if you have that now listen i'm not saying that's good or bad i i have no opinion on it everybody does what they want to do some people do have their reasons for having relationships like that it has everybody every situation is unique okay and we're not here to judge what i'm feeling is if you are engaging and you feel like you know what you want more don't gaslight yourself don't put expectations on a relationship with someone where you come to terms with well wait this is just this person isn't it's not going to happen be honest and true with yourself 
And if you find yourself wanting more from a relationship with someone where it's already been established as strictly sexual, it's important for you to tell that person and, and be okay with the response. Be okay with the answer. Okay. But be true to yourself. Be honest with yourself. You have it. You might have a decision to make with someone, because there's there. I'd see like another person just being like, "Well, I just don't want a committed, or I don't want anything more, or I'm I'm going to stay married, or I'm just whatever. I'm not leaving my person, or I just I'm too, you know, can, uh, like my work, you know, whatever it is. You it, you have to make a decision. Okay. I feel like this is a little bit all over the place and please forgive me I'm, my apologies for that I, I just am picking up so many different messages and I just feel this like a blockage I feel like this blockage maybe I should have done some breathing exercises or something before um, I did the reading but patience everything will unfold in divine timing so there you go <laughs> patience lots of breathing deep breaths relaxation trusting that things will work out for your best interest put away the computer we had that yesterday working less will help strengthen your relationship hmm. and soulmate there's that thing i was talking about i don't you know i i don't want to dissect that i don't know what that phrase was coming to me turning your twin flame into a soulmate so i kind of feel like when you have a soulmate relationship with someone there's no expectations. The twin flame is difficult because there are expectations. Um, because it's already labeled that when you call it your twin flame, that you're meant to be together. And you get frustrated because why aren't we? It's a twin flame. It doesn't make sense. What's going on? What's wrong? I feel like if you can turn it, and I don't know if this is even possible, I you know, to the depths of that, but I feel like if you can, it feels to me like your messages, get rid of your expectations, keep them low, so you won't be disappointed, um, or you won't set yourself up to be disappointed, okay? And I know that's a very odd message, and it's not something that I usually say, but I do feel like somebody here needs to hear something about turning a twin flame into a soulmate which is about loving accepting and respecting someone unconditionally right that's what we do with our soulmates with our twin flame we do have the, that energy but there is an energy of like expecting that person to meet us where we are because we're twin flame and that's not a reason to do that right um let me see what the Chinese sign. I want to take a look at you and see what your Chinese sign is here. Okay. So you might be born year of the rat, year of the snake, year of the horse, year of the monkey. We have horse again, year of the dragon, year of the tiger, year of the rooster, double rooster, and year of the dog. Okay. So if you didn't hear your Chinese sign, don't worry. That doesn't mean it's not your reading. It's just the way it's coming out. Let's get some. All right. August 29th. Initial I. Initial L. Initial T. Oh, that's lit. Okay. Someone is 34. Someone's born in 84. Ooh. September 20th. Okay, letter P. Someone is very short, like like super short, like small. Someone is very short. Okay, someone is, all right, either 65 or born in 65. 1977, 1971. Um, Caf... Ca Cafe a late. I just heard C A F E A L A I T. Is that a thing? I don't know what that is. Cafe a late. A late. Am I saying that right? Someone works at AT and T. Okay. Letter E. The letter A. 
and the letter B. Um, Bait, Bait, Bates. Someone's last name is Bates or Tate's, Tate. Oh, someone is a beta, like a, like a beta female or beta male. B-E-T-A, beta. <laughs> beta, okay. All right, someone is 48. We have September 9th. What else? The letter P. Someone is 57 or born in 57. And the letter O. Okay, let me see if I'm getting any other names here. Mm, Pat or Patrick or Patricia. <clears throat> Abe. Abe. Abraham. Abe. Uh, Pete, Peter, Pete. Opal, they just said O-P-A-L, Opal. Someone is eating pitted olives, I just heard. Okay, <laughs> whoever's eating pit pitted olives, I hope they're good. <laughs> Okay, you have the, uh, okay, September 3rd, August 31st, and a W. Oh, I just heard Heather, and now they're saying Beatrice, Beatrice, and, um, uh, okay, they're, they're showing me a, a pup, a paw, a paw, like a animal paw, paw print, or paw. Or someone calls their grandfather or father Pa, like Pa Pa, 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 Papa, <laughs> Pa, Papa, hey Papa, hey Papa. What am I saying? Let's get another September birthday, September 7th. Okay. All right, let's see. This new person coming in, please show Virgo the month that they were born. Okay, May. <clears throat> and show Virgo the past person's month that they were born. All right, September. Okay, and we have a B again. Brian. Somebody works for the WB. Like, that's Warner Brothers, right? WB. Okay. You also have Aries twice, and you have a Scorpio here. Okay. And then, oh, November um, 3rd. Somebody's birthday is November 3rd. Okay. Scorpio again, Taurus, and Libra. And Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Aries. Wow, Virgo. These are interesting. Like this message. So I know. Like, forgive me. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just off today. I don't know what it is. But I just feel like a really strong sense of um, confusion yet clarity coming in. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like you're, you're going to have this thing in uh, February for some of you where it's not like you're confused about yourself. I feel like you will be. But it might be because you have two different offers coming in let me just give you a couple extra messages before we go tough and trying times tough times ahead think long term and make decisions accordingly avoid negative people at all costs well that must be the energy that I'm picking up it's trying you know like I was saying there was hesitation like trying like, like a very trying energy I don't feel like love should be so difficult but you also have opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. Wow, Virgo. So yeah, there's definitely somebody new coming in here in February. Anything else before we go? And there you have challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach 
softly to avoid making matters worse. Hmm. Yeah, you do have, so you do have the, the plus side is you do have like a, someone new coming in. Or uh, someone you've recently been engaging with is going to make an offer, a romantic proposal of some sort. It could be an offer of marriage or engagement or, you know, a committed long term kind of thing. And then you've got like a little bit of some challenges. And I feel like it could be because you have two separate offers for some of you. You also have signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. So that's good. So I feel like when we saw the patience card, it really means, and with trust, you can trust the situation. It really means just kind of, you know, things always work themselves out in the end. You know, if you just kind of get your hands out of it and take your hands off the wheel and just let things be, let it flow, let things come to you, they work out in the end. So there's no need to stress or fret or, or uh, you know keep your expectations minimal and only on yourself you know what i mean um any other messages here for virgo okay yeah difficult times be on your guard against chaos and unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are for or f are foretold yeah so that's what i'm talking about you know uh, february is like a 50 50 is how i feel february is like okay I get this good stuff happening and then there's uh oh stuff happening right so i'd say it's evenly balanced <laughs> really kind of keeps you like in a really good like okay grounded and you have communication a reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships a lucky win seems luckily likely luckily so yeah like i said there's definitely some type of uh rekindling happening here as well let me just get a couple of charms and then we'll get you going. Okay. So you have a camera, Virgo. All right. So somebody might be a photographer. Look at that old camera. I love it. Somebody might be a photographer taking pictures or not wanting to see something either. Look at because the lens looks like it's closed, like a closed eye. Um, so something to do with not so much. I don't want to go so much in the way of... Like, pictures are associated with a camera, but this is more like the action of using a camera. So somebody might be actively using a camera this weekend and going in through the rest of the month, like, really active. So I know, like, for me, when the weather starts getting nice, I'm out there with my camera and I'm taking pictures of flowers and nature. I just love that. It's like one of my, one of my hobbies, you know, one of my passions. So... I mean, hey, that could apply to me, right? But if you're in an area where it's like extremely beautiful, maybe you just like get in your car and you want to just go somewhere to take some beautiful pictures. You, that opportunity might be presenting itself um, in February or there might be something going on. Oh, shit. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, that's weird. So, you know, let me just say, you guys, so... I've been kind of following all of the alien stuff, right? And I, like, listen, I don't, I don't do any of that star seed DNS activation. I don't like that. I'm just too level headed and practical minded to let, allow myself to go down there. So I've, I've really, what I've been following with all the aliens, like what fascinates me, like, are there aliens? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there are. I don't know. I've never seen one, so I can't confirm. But what I'm fascinated by with the whole thing is the reverse engineering of alien aircraft. So I don't know why, but just something about anti-gravity <laughs> um, machines is just more fascinating to me than meeting an alien. You know what I mean? Because I feel like the alien thing would probably freak me out a little bit. But if I came across like a, a like a, a what do they call it? A UAP now? If I saw one of those and it was like hovering, I'd be like, get, I want to get in that. And I want to ride that thing. Let me, <laughs> how does this work? What is this? What makes this thing work? I'm like really fascinated with the engineering aspect of it. Not, not, not the, I don't know. You would think that I, you know, most people in this type of industry, like this, 
what we do here is really, I, I just don't go down that road. I don't know why. It's just not me. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because this, I saw this. I was like, that looks like an alien with wings. Okay. So listen, maybe, gosh, I don't know. We're going to see an alien. Listen, leave a comment below. I just need to know, have you ever, have you ever seen a UFO? I saw one. I saw one of those orb things about two months ago going across the parking lot. Um, and it was just going in, a, in, it wasn't a balloon because a helium balloon goes up and tends to just kind of rise and sink and rise and sink. This thing was going like straight across the parking lot, straight across. And it was like, an, like it was like a, a metal or orb kind of thing just going straight across and it went by fairly swiftly but not so fast that I couldn't make out what it was and immediately I like texted my brother I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god and of course he was like okay you're crazy you need to go get some sleep but maybe you will actually see an alien over the weekend and, and if not like you might be like oh some of you might believe that the aliens are like demonic um, are there angels or something? I don't know. Leave a comment below or you can leave it in the, the chat here or leave a comment below if you've ever seen one um, or if you've come across them or anything like that or what you think about that. But there might be this. Yeah, you know, and I know that looks like a fairy, but I, that's not initially what I felt. So something about the aliens, maybe you're just going to watch some show about them or something's going to come up in that's also what they're saying something may come up in february where there's this big alien reveal okay like i'm not talking i'm not talking about um you know they had those conferences and stuff or those those hearings where those people just were like yeah, this is what we saw, but they couldn't go into detail. There's like something coming up in, in February. And if you have an interest in that stuff, you'll obviously find out about it. But if not, this is might be pretty profound. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's this whole reading was just <laughs> I don't even know, so unscripted. And it just feels like, it did, like it's just crazy. It's just some craziness. I'm going to leave that there. Um, I hope that you guys... <laughs> please listen I don't care put a thumbs down I don't care this reading is just bizarre to me today because at first it was like oh how sweet and then all this confusion comes in um no matter what I just feel like let things go let things work themselves out what the hell is that let things evolve the way they're meant to evolve um and just be true to your heart be true to yourself honor yourself love yourself um and just be happy that's all. Be happy. Even if an alien comes down right in front of you. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Have a great week. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. And oh my gosh, I actually forgot. Real quick. Don't, don't leave yet. If you have signed up to my channel, I know we got some new members. Um, let me just, I just want to give a shout out to the new members. Um, or Quida, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. O R Q U I D E A Gutierrez, Carlos Alonso, Christopher Wynn. Thank you for becoming a member. Marlo Carlos, thank you so much for becoming. Uh, these are the newest members. So, welcome, welcome. Uh, Marlo is actually rejoined marlo was a member so marlo has a red badge to show that he's been a member for a while so you'll notice that you guys sandy's been a member for 16 months so she's got a pink badge so you guys um yeah if you show up if you become a member you join the channel and you have different color badges this is why um some people have rejoined right so when you rejoin you get your status back you understand so like I said Marlo rejoined um, as a member but he's been a member for nine months so he's got his nine month status so you don't lose you have to start all over I don't know if that's important to any of you but just so you know I didn't know that it did that but it does so do consider becoming a member and 
uh, joining the loyalty membership. And yeah. All right, you guys. And the mods. Thank you guys so much for being here every single night. Shout out to my mods. They are awesome. Um, please give a thumbs up to them. They're always here, dedicated, and they do an excellent job. All right, you guys. See you back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.